Well, tune in investors, first home buyers, retirees, we are in the heart of Druin here and this neat little two bedroom dwelling is the perfect opportunity, entry level opportunity to get into the local market here. A uh, fantastic position, we are literally around the corner from the Bank Place Medical Centre there, so a stone's throw from the bowling greens and literally I could walk to town in less than five minutes. We're on Bull and Bullen Road, this is number nine and uh, a unique opportunity uh, here for you today. I'm here with Claire Rock, who's behind the camera. Hello, everyone. And uh, Claire, great spot, Druin. It is a great spot, and it's always great when you've got a great little villa like this with its own driveway. So, Claire mentioned we've got, uh, it, it's got its own driveway. This dwelling is one of three on this title, however, it's the only one that fronts onto this road. The other two dwellings on the title uh, go out onto Hopeton Road at the rear. So you've got your own sort of parcel of land here, 275 square metres. Uh, the house itself is about 12 squares under roof. So um, decent size and a great opportunity for couples um, or as I said, first home buyer, young professionals, retirees, great spot. Come on inside, we'll uh, have a bit of a look. Now, she needs some love. It's, uh, it's been a rental property. It's, uh, it's probably due for a paint. A lick of paint and some new carpets would go a long way in here. I would say based on the decor, it's been built in that sort of uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, the old gas wall furnace here doesn't work. So basically we've got the split system, new split system, reverse cycle heating and cooling. Um, but uh, yeah, you could come in and make it your own. It's actually got really good bones. We're on a slab here and the structure seems really solid. Um, just need to do some cosmetic updating. Um, as I said, 12 squares under roof line. Got the old original timber kitchen here. With a bit of cupboard space there. We're on the, uh, the vinyl floor here with a bit of a, a meals area as well and living space. Um, Going back to that, uh, that that title situation again, because a lot of people can get scared off by owners' corporations. There's no active owners' corporation here. So the only thing with this strata title is that there is a, uh, a um, owners' corporation insurance over all three buildings. So the insurance policy covers all buildings and each dwelling will pay a third of the cost. So it's a little under $1,200 a year to insure the building. And then it's just up to you to insure your contents. So pretty straightforward. You can do as you like maintain your own gardens and your property. Let's go through here. You can shut this door off to the bedroom areas. Um, we might take a look at the bedrooms first of all. We've got these lovely green carpet and purple walls, <laughs> yeah. which I'm sure you want to change. It's a great combo. <laughs> and a different carpet in here as well. So we're not hiding the fact that she needs some work, but it's, a, um, it's, it's easy stuff to do, cosmetic stuff. So um, the bedrooms, I think, are a similar size. Yeah, they're a good size. It's always hard to tell without furniture in them, but mm. yeah, comfortably fit a queen in here. You get a queen in here, yeah. room to open the cupboard doors. Um, so both rooms have the built-in robe storage. We've got drapes and curtains. Uh, we've got a bit of a linen press at the end of the hallway. And she, this one's probably a, a tad smaller. Yeah, it is smaller. Again, you've got that nice natural light coming in here as you well. Do. You get a little bit of that afternoon sun coming in that way. Um, but uh, very comfortable. Down the end of the hallway here, Claire, we've got to the left of the wet areas. I'm not going to get in your way there. Your immediate left is the bathroom. That's had an updated shower screen in there. Everything's all fully functional and serviceable. Just not modern by today's standards. Beautiful, but again, really lovely light bathroom, which is what you want. Yeah. Separate toilet, and then coming through your laundry area here, so you've got room for your washing machine. There's a broom cupboard there as well, and then access out into the courtyard. There's a small undercover area here if you want to pop a small table and chairs out here. But as you can see, you get a lo lovely uh, bit of sunlight here in the afternoon, which is really nice. Single car garage with automatic door. Going back to what we said earlier, you've got your own driveway off of Bull and Bullen Road there. So plenty of room for a single car garage. And a really nice, lovely private courtyard. So fenced as per title. 
Yeah, so nice and private from your neighbours over the back. Got those fence toppers on, which look like they've only just been put on there, and your utilities around the side there. So it's uh, a nice little bit of undercovered alfresco as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, nice little spot to sit. So very private. Um, as I said, it needs a little bit of love, but it wouldn't take too much to bring it back to its former glory. Um, I mentioned earlier it would be great for investors. We think something like this should rent out for around sort of $380, $390 a week. Um, so a unique opportunity there for investors, particularly because we're so close to town. You can walk to the train station in five minutes. Uh, so great opportunity. Um, we think you should come and have a look. It's entry level buying uh, in, in the local marketplace. Uh, we're sitting either side of 400,000 and uh, great value at that. So love to hear from you. Come and have a look.